Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to make an installer from your Unreal Engine project. So let's get started. Okay, so to make this setup, we will need a program called Inno Setup Compiler. There are multiple, but I seem to stick with Inno Setup Compiler, so let's get that. So let's open up our web browser and just search up Inno Setup Compiler. Okay, so just download it from a random site. Now that it has downloaded, let's install it. Okay, so accept for license agreement, you can read it if you want. In here, just put it to uh, whatever hard drive you want. I'll use my D disk. Click on next, next. Click on next. And install. Now make sure it is launched. And select create a new script file using the script wizard. So this will guide you through the process of creating a new script. So for this we'll quickly need to go and search for our game. So what I have here is my exported game. As you can see, it's in here. So let's copy where this is. So what do we want to call it? Let's call this creepy ass game. Which version is this? This is version 1.0.1. And by who is it published? Well, um, let's say how to compute. And my URL is https colon slash slash how to compute dot cf. So the application's destination base folder can be your program files. You can also fill anything custom in, but that doesn't really matter. Now it will need a folder name, so if I would go into my whichever hard drive it is. Program files, as you can see this is Fortnite. And here you have Audacity. So this is what the file will be called. So let's keep that in creepy ass game. So now do you want users to allow to change the application folder? Yes, in my opinion, because why not? And the application does need a folder so make sure that is unticked. Now click on next. Now we will need to browse to the main executable, so this is what you would double click if your game runs. So in this case it is horrormap.exe. So now we also want to add a folder and go to that location we had earlier, so creepy ass game 1.0 and select for Windows no editor file, so click on OK. Shoot files in subfolder of d slash creepy ass games version 1.0 slash windows no editor also be included yes okay so now click on next create a shortcut yes allow user to create a desktop shortcut yes okay so this is all fine make sure this one is unchecked and these are checked click on next and now we can have a license file so how would you make this so if you would open just notepad or something just type in this is my license file and let's save that to my desktop and let's name it license okay so now as you can see we can go in here go to my desktop and select license now we also have the before install so let me quickly type this out the before install file no crap I did something wrong So now create a new one, paste that in there and save it as before install and create another one after install and save that to after install. Okay so now browse to those files so this was the before install and this is the after install. Next, languages English that is fine with me. 
Now custom compiler output folder, I actually like to use this, so where do we want to save whatever this output, so where do we want to save this installer? Let's say on my D drive. And we can also give this a name, so let's call this creepy ass game install installer. Now we can have an icon file. And this is a little pain in the ass. As you can see, this is my Adobe CC file, which doesn't contain that many things, but these all contain PNGs and everything. And what if I would want to use um, this one? Or actually, I have that one in my downloads. Let's say I wanted to use my own. So now this is a PNG file. As you can see, properties.png. And we need a .ico file. So we can quickly use an ICO convert, so just Google PNG to ICO converter. Go to whichever link it is, just drag it onto here, and click on download. So now head into our download, and as you can see, now I have all of these, these are icons. So let me just select duo gets wrecked. And setup password, we can install a setup password, but that is not needed. I basically don't see a reason why you would ever want to use a setup password but you can if you want. So now click on next and just keep this checked because it doesn't really matter but it's just good to keep it like that. Next and finish. So would you like to compile the new script now? Click on yes. Would you like to save it? Yes. So this can be called FreePRS Game Installer 1.0.1. .1. As you can see now, we'll go and pack all of these things. In. So as you can now see, this has finished doing its thing. So let's quickly look at our installer. So go to my D drive. And as you can see, this is the one I just created. 5.14.2016 and 9.29, whatever, 12.29. And it is 300 and 75 megabytes, which is smaller than our normal project. So let's try installing it, shall we? Okay, as you can see, it starts with the license file. There you can click accept or do not accept. It only allows you three of you to accept it. So now it will show you the before install file. We'll let you choose wherever you want to save it. It will also quickly tell you how much it will use. Click on next. And you can create your desktop shortcut. And now click on install. And as you can see, it contains our icon file in here. Okay, so now that has installed, it will also show us the after install file. Now click on next. Let's not launch it, let's click on finish. If I would go to my desktop, as you can see, this has the creepy ass game shortcut. And also, and recently added, or under all apps, I also have creepy ass game. And this has two because I've already installed an older version, that doesn't matter. So I think that concludes it. Let's quickly recap what we have done. So we first started by downloading and installing in our setup compiler. Then we created our script with the script wizard added our license files, looked at how to convert an image to an .ico file, so to an icon file, and how to add that, compiled our setup script, located our installer, and we installed our game. So yeah, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!